Hello friends, I'm Shweta and welcome to Shweta Diji Cooking channel. Today we will be making Gobi ka paratha. So, let's see the ingredients. This is cauliflower, green chilies, ginger. Now we have to wash our cauliflower. So what I do is I dip it in hot boiling water for one minute. Not more than that because we don't have to cook it. We just have to get rid of all the dust, bacteria and maggots. Here it is. I'm all ready with my boiling hot water. Now I've switched off the flame and now I'll add in all the cauliflower. I always do this procedure if I'm cooking gobi or cauliflower because this is the easiest and the coolest way to get rid of any kind of dust, bacteria or maggots in the cauliflower. And it doesn't even interfere with the taste. We just have to remember two things. First, the flame should be switched off when we add our cauliflower. Secondly, our cauliflower should be in the boiling water for just one single minute. Now let's take our gobi out of the water. Ideally, we grate our gobi for gobi ka paratha, but this is an easy cooking channel. So we are not going to grate it. Instead, we are going to use our grinder. Now let's add in our ginger, green chilies and cauliflower. Grinding them together mixes everything nicely, giving us a smooth flavor in our stuffing. I have all grinded it together. Let's see how it has turned out. It seems all good and nice. Let's take it out in a bowl. I have taken all the stuffing out in a bowl. Now let's squeeze off all the excess water and keep the stuffing aside. I have squeezed off all the water from the stuffing. We won't throw away this excess water. We'll make a dough out of it. It really enhances the flavor. Now let's add flour to it. And now we'll knead it and make a soft dough out of it. Whenever we make dough for stuffed parathas, we make a really soft dough so that the dough is more elastic and it doesn't tear out while rolling. The dough is done now. Now we'll let it rest for 15 to 20 minutes. It has been 15 minutes. Now let's start the magic. Now we'll add salt to our stuffing and mix it well. Heat up your tawa on low flame. Take a small portion of the dough and make a ball out of it. Now increase your dough just like this, the way I'm showing. Now keep your hand this way and place your dough over it and press it in the middle making a small pit where we will be placing our stuffing. Now take a small portion of the stuffing and place it in the pit which we created. Now pull up all the ends of the dough and join them together. And now we'll just make a ball out of it. Now dust your ball with flour. First increase it this way and then you can start rolling it. Grinding the stuffing makes it really fine. So it's really less likely for our paratha to tear apart while rolling. We have rolled our paratha nicely. Now let's take it to the tawa. As the color will change on the surface, we'll add oil and then we'll flip it over we will apply oil again we can use oil or ghee or even butter to make our paratha let's flip it over again and our paratha is all done now let's take it out on a plate this winters enjoy these garam garam gobi ka paratha with hot chutney and masala chai let's give it a bite enjoy and do subscribe my channel.